with the latest version of the merge tool has a new field and function usage been uh, added in here. Uh, I have downloaded the latest version here and I'm going to install that one in a uh, 2009 uh, R2 database. The merge tool will require to actually import the objects into an existing database. So uh, let's open up the object designer and import the objects. And in here I have the object both for 2013 and uh, for 2009 or 2. I'm going to use the R2 version because that's where transformation and everything else is working fine. So this one is all uh, new objects, 480 new objects. And uh, I use the merge tool itself as example in here. So now I've got my new menu suite. Open up my object explorer. Object Explorer is a way to actually being able to filter uh, based on license and everything else in here. But we can actually see the license permissions you have out here for that. Um, but I'm just going to filter in here for anything that starts with MGT. I'm going to export that one to a file. And I then use uh, uh, export uh, filter objects in here. It's 480 objects uh, matching the one I actually uh, imported. So then they're going to create a new version. And it defaults to create the setup for me in here. But then I will go import my object text file. And I'll then uh, click OK. This one now importing the source code into the merge tool. There's nothing new in this one. That's how it has been working all the time. I now have my version. It has been imported with uh, all the objects and all the code in here. And of course, all the additional information in here about fixed IDs and like that one is the context of the code in here. Let's go back to the version, calculate uh, the source code analysis. This one is doing an object level source code analysis. So this one is not touching anything about the field yet. Um, but as I finish that one, I can now, as I go to an object, I can see that this one has certain sexual relations. Uh, I can see all the variables uh, and take that one. If I click on the advanced, I have a field and functions in here. And this one now shows for the table I'm on the field and functions that are being used in here. Nothing has been calculated yet, and uh, it can be very time consuming to calculate, so you can calculate one at a time. Uh, or you can select multiple ones uh, and actually calculate them. And this one will actually commit after each uh, calculation in here. It's using filtering on the source code, uh, and then it's removing uh, wrong hits based on variables not existing and many other things. Uh, but let's just look at the log file name. I can see inside the table itself. Uh, I have uh, the log file name defined, of course. I have some code setting it to blank, and I can see all the places in the system where I actually use a log file. There will be uh, potentially some wrong hits, uh, too many of them in here, but there will never be too few because it's basically based on the text existing inside the source code. But this one, the fields and function usage list is a whole new functionality inside the merge tool. And you calculate it when needed because some of them will actually have a, a very large amount of usage and you don't want to calculate all of it uh, all the time in here. So, and especially when the text gets shorter, it can have uh, more bad hits actually based on multiple variables having the same field name. Uh, and but this one is a very, very useful feature 
when you're looking for uh, where fields are used. But also, if I go down and see uh, where is each function used in the system entry. So uh, it's a whole new feature in the merge uh, introduced with uh, Merge Tool 150.07. Uh,